Good morning, new 1%. <clears throat> it's Satoshi Boomin coming at you with another video. Guys, we're talking about Cardano today. We love us some Cardano. I got my hot tea and honey lot and loaded ready to go. Let's get the show started. Thank you to everyone that's been leaving about four five comments down below. The engagement has been off the chain. I really appreciate each and every one of you. I got my hot tea and honey lot. I already said that. So we're going to move on. <laughs> Looking at the price here, guys. Um, yeah, we're down. We are down. The markets as a whole are down. I just think that people are just fearful. Whales are taking profits. And it is what it is, guys. But, hey, this is not deterring me. I'm going to continue to buy ADA, whether it's $100 per coin or $0.03 cents per coin. It's as simple as that, guys. Ain't nothing changed. I'm going to continue to buy VeChain, whether it's a dollar a coin or it's under one cent. So, you know, that's it. I mean, I, it, I don't got no speeches. I don't got no technical indicators to show you or anything like that. So we're just going to move on, guys. We're just buying Ada and chilling. I mean, I don't know how many different ways I could say that. But <laughs> moving on, guys. El Salvador. El Salvador may issue its own stable coin. So we've been talking about this for a while. Uh, we talked about this a couple days ago when we talked about how Cardano created their new stable coin. They written their new stable coin paper Jed and we know that Charles Hoskinson has been in talks with the El Salvadorian government and is looking to meet with them in a more uh, official way. So this is definitely big. Um, El Salvador government has plans to launch native cryptocurrency that customers will be able to use for services. Latin, Amer Latin American digital newspaper El Faro reported Friday night. Now imagine being able to go there and install Alta Prism in El Salvador. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people that are poor, that are ra ravaged and racked by gang, gang violence. They don't have access to insurance. They don't have access to, you know, Things that we take advantage of in America, like loans, like insurance, like um, having a bank account. Having a bank account is great. Being able to not have to lug around cash everywhere, not have to lug around valuables everywhere. Okay, guys, so being able to come on in and install something like Alter Prism, maybe having Cardano as legal tender, something like that could definitely be a boon. So, the country's president told prospective investors that cryptocurrency, which is referenced as the Cologne dollar, will be inter introduced by the end of 2021. According to the report, which cited video recordings of the brothers discussing proposals with these investors, brothers said that they represented the president, according to the report, which based documents that El Faro had attained. The news comes weeks after the Central American government's overwhelmingly approved the Bit president's Bitcoin law, which will treat of original cryptocurrency as legal tender and require all businesses to accept it as payment goods for services by September. Um, Spokesperson for the El Salvador government told El Faro that the plan was discarded, but the newspaper citing an unidentified source said that plans were currently on track. The brothers met with representatives from Cardano, and Wizgrid and Algorand at different times, according to the paper. Okay, guys, so um, I never heard of Wizgrid before, but Algo and Cardano are definitely uh, something we need to keep an eye on, guys. Hey, <laughs> crazier things have happened. Imagine if Cardano was using Alter Prism or some other form of their products in El Salvador. That would be huge. Wouldn't surprise me, but it would be huge. Cardano holding up well for these reasons, according to Benjamin Cohen, a crypto analyst. Now, I think Cardano's been holding up well during all these, uh, during all this dips, even though we're almost about down to a dollar here per coin. That's just more Cardano I could buy for my money. Uh, you know, I ain't even really tripping about that. But uh, Cardano still has been holding up, only down 54% from all-time highs, which is not bad when you consider VChain's down 70%, Jed's down 
Shiba Inu, I think is down like 90% or something like that. Let me, let me, I know I done talked about your favorite doggy coin. I'm sorry, guys. You know, you can leave the dislike. People actually getting mad because I'm talking shit about Shiba Inu. Like, are you kidding me, bro? Like, <laughs> all right, so it's down 83% in the last two months, guys. So, um, <clears throat> the point I'm trying to make is that Cardano has been holding up really, really well. Um, and Cardano's process to run validator nodes is simple. Um, I've explored a lot of validators on a lot of networks, and I think Cardano's the easiest. It's relatively easy for delegators as well. Um, users continue to stake their ADA and are not selling. Bitcoin's drawdown is 50%, and you see the stake in the ITC pool. You see that it's been going up. And yeah, I just think that people are staking. They're, they're not selling their ADA. And, you know, these whales, they could try their darndest, but they're not getting my ADA off my hands. Hell no. Hell no. They could get it off my cold, dead hands. But even then, I don't think they're going to get it anyway. So that's it. That's what it is, guys. I mean, just hodl. I know it's boring. I know the market ain't doing nothing. I know it's going down. I know it's, I know you see your portfolio value going down. But guys, it's going to be okay. Trust me. Well, don't trust me, but do your own research. But um, I know I sound crazy, but I have been crazy before. And I'm going to be crazy again. So just warning you. Hit that red button. Leave my full five comments down below. JRNY Crypto Post, people fear innovation until it becomes the norm. And here is a anti-electricity cartoon from 1990, guys. 1900, sorry. Everywhere there is innovation, everywhere there is forward thinking, there will always be doubters. There will always be naysayers. There will always be people that say, oh, this is dangerous. I mean, look at the 5G people. Oh, God. I already know there's some 5G people. Conspiracy people in my comment section below. If you believe that 5G is dangerous, comment down below. Give me your whole paragraph about how I don't know anything and how, you know, 5G is going to go into the brain and change the chemicals up there. Go ahead. I'll give you a couple seconds to write the comment. You can go ahead and leave the dislike too if you want. So, you know, you got the 5G people out there. I mean, when the radio first came out back in like the 1700s or something like that, I think the radio was created in like the 1700s. When the radio was created in the 1700s, you had people saying, oh, this is going to harm the children. The children are not going to do anything but listen to radio all day. And the, it's going to erode society. And it's dangerous. The radio waves are going to affect people and make them crazy and all of that. When the TV came out, same thing. Oh, the TV is dangerous. Blah, blah, blah. You know, it's going to ruin the, wor the world. The TV. Back in my day, we listened to the radio. So it's always, every time there's some innovation, anytime there's some forward thinking that people don't immediately understand, they go to the worst case scenario. Now, it is what it is. But you know what? People who are forward thinking always come out on top. The Wright brothers, when they were creating, when they were trying to create the plane, how many people told them that they were absolutely crazy? How many people told them that they were doing the work of the devil trying to fly? Humans weren't meant to fly. This is blasphemy. So come on, guys. Like, <laughs> there's always going to be haters. There's always going to be naysayers. But you know what? We're just going to laugh at them. You know, when they're left behind and they're FOMOing in, at the end, we're just going to laugh and we're going to continue to go on with our lives. That's as simple as that. Peter Nowak posts, uh, only in the worldwide decentralized innovation platform is that is currently in use for financing blockchain developments is one of Cardano. It is the treasury budget of over $500 million. No other blockchain has this at all. Cardano is years ahead of its competitors, and I would agree. So I'm not worried about the Cardano price today, guys. Like, at all. Like, it has no effect on me. I want to know what Cardano is going to be next five years. What, what's Cardano going to be in the next ten years? So, I know you guys don't want to hear that, but it is what it is. 
And then lastly, guys, uh, real quick, 17 million ADA is delegated to retired pools. Please make sure that you're not delegating your ADA to any of these pools. Elon's money machine for fuck's sake. Really? People are just... <sighs> anyway, take care of your ADA for, the, for goodness sakes, please. People just throw their ADA any goddamn where. They don't care. As long as they got a flashy name. I'm losing faith in humanity each day. Um, anyway. Delegate to Poop Pool. Delegate to OneCom. Ticker symbol 1COMM. Ticker symbol POOP. Support small stake pool operators. I mean, this freaking thing, guys. Iron Pool has so much ADA in it. It's ridiculous, and people are just like, oh, we're just delegating, not getting any rewards at all. Come on, guys. Let's use our brains. Let's get this interest. That's all I have for you guys today. I love you. Sorry for the short video, but unfortunately, duty calls, and I got to go wage slave now. I'll come back at you tomorrow with the V-Chain and Cardano updates. I love y'all. Leave about four five comments down below. Buy a shirt. More designs are dropping today. I'm so excited. Have a good day, guys. Love y'all.